Hi, in the previous video, we have seen how the application is uh, already deployed in OCI in the both region, Ashburn and Phoenix, and how all the DR mechanism is configured. In the current video, we will start by configuring full stack disaster recovery and creating the and associating the DR protection groups. So let's move to the OCI console. Here we are in Ashburn region. So we we'll go to this, uh, migration and disaster recovery. We click on DR protection groups and we click on create DR protection group. We'll give it a name and we select the object store where the logs for all the DR plans will go. We will not configure the rule for the moment and we click on create. It will take a couple of seconds to complete. Meanwhile, let's move to the Phoenix region and do the same task. They are protection groups. Click on create, give it a name, Mushop Phoenix. Select the object store bucket for the logs. Do not configure the rule for the moment and click on create. Let's go back to the uh, Ashburn region. Now it's active. In Ashburn, the task is complete and we have an active DR protection group in Ashburn. Let's see in Phoenix if it's complete. Yeah, it's active now. So we have the two DR protection group uh, ready in both regions. Let's associate the two uh, DR protection group. Click on associate here. We are running this task from Ashburn region. So we are on the primary site. We select the primary role for this DR protection group. Select the peer region. In our case, it's Phoenix. And the peer DR protection group, it's Mushop Phoenix. And click on associate. It's updating now. It will take a couple of seconds to terminate. So the task is now complete. The association of the two DR protection group is complete. And we can see here in Ashburn, it had the primary role. And we can check in the Phoenix region. It is the, it has the standby, the standby role in, in Phoenix. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, understand how to uh, create and associate the DR protection group. In the next video, we will see how to add members to the DR protection groups already created. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.